Okay, so the next forwarding move that a writer needs to make in their argument essay is to extend. And extending is also commentary. And commentary simply means when you leave your comments about something or you make comments about something. And so when a writer is putting their commentary in their argument essay, it occurs right after you quote source material. And what this means is after you quote source material, the writer needs to say something about that source material. So you need to put your spin on the terms and the ideas that are in that source material. And when a writer puts their spin on ideas, it means that they put their interpretation or the way they see that quote or the meaning that they extract from that quote. And so when we're making the comparison of an argument essay to a highway, on a highway, when cars are just cruising down the, the highway and they're just extending, they're just going with their cruise control on, their wheels are spinning. And so this is the, com the comparison that we're making in the argument essay is after you quote source material, you need to put your spin on that, quote, on that quoted material. You need to put your interpretation, your comments, and, the, and your thinking about that source material and how it relates to your claim. In our argument highway foldable, we made a, an index card with notes. One thing that we said or talked about specifically is do not summarize. When you are putting your spin on quoted source material, you don't want to just simply restate what the source material already said. You need to add your opinions, your thoughts, and your ideas. And what this looks like, on the back of the index card, we put the definition of the of extending or commentary. And then down below here, we gave some sentence starters. So after you quote source material, you can begin your extending by saying, so now, or because of this, or furthermore, or not only that, but... And then in the red is an example. So after we quote source material about the reliability and safety features that people look for when they are searching for a new car, we can then put our own spin on that quoted source material by saying something like, not only that, but in addition to wanting a safe car, most people want a reliable car. Nothing is more dangerous than having your car break down on the highway. So take a minute and just think about and review what extending looks like in your argument essay and some of the sentence starters that signal to the reader that you are putting your own spin on the quoted source material. All right, here's an example of strong extending slash commentary. The first part here is the student's claim. Waking up early can result in a decrease in academic performance and an increase in safety and health issues. With that being said, school should start at a later time. So this claim is debatable and it can be defendable. So this is an example of how they illustrate, meaning they provided source material to support their claim, which basically says 59% of sixth through eighth graders and 87% of high school students in the United States aren't getting the recommended eight and a half to nine and a half hours of sleep a night. And that is followed by extending. In the blue is where the student has provided their own spin or interpretation their own opinions and explanation of how it connects to the claim. So they say, in other words, the National Sleep Foundation is saying that students are not getting enough sleep. As a consequence, they lose interest in what they need to do in their daily lives. For instance, students may need to study for a quiz scheduled for the next day. Instead of studying, they might just take a nap and end up failing the quiz. Another example is their mood. Students can end up being grumpy and unfocused all the time. Thus. This proves that youngsters need our sleep. So I want you to notice that there was a little bit of rephrasing in the very first sentence of their extending. However, the rest of the sentences are all their commentary and their personal spin put on the, um, on the, the quoted source material. Here's an example of a weak um, attempt to extend. Same claim, same illustrating. However, take a look at their extending. It says this shows that more than half of the United States students aren't getting enough sleep. 
a lack of sleep can cause problems for students. So all students need to get some sleep. Notice there, the writer of this is not putting any personal interpretation or spin. Um, they're not really showing how it connects to their claim. And they're not really adding any sort of opinions that are deeper level or deeper thinking. It's basically just a summary statement that's rephrasing what the text already said. So you need to keep in mind that after you um, attempt to prove your claim or support your claim with evidence from the text, you need to extend. So in class, when we've done our note organization, we usually do an it says, I say. So under the it says, we write down what the text says. Under the I say, we write down our thoughts, our interpretations, and our opinions of what the text says. Because everybody's going to have uh, a different interpretation or different opinions or different connections about quoted source material. So you need to explain thoroughly what your interpretation of that material is and how it connects to your claim.